paragraph one. Mr. President, friends, and fellow citizens, the task before me is one which requires much previous thought and study for its proper performance. What I do not to the slave is July 4th. When I read this speech, I think of how poignant and timely the speech is today. between this platform and the slave plantation from, from which, which I, I escaped is considerable. And the difficulties to be overcome in getting from the latter to the former are by no means slight. Reading the speech lets us reflect on the contradictions within our constitution and our values and our practice. So there is hope and thought and hope is much needed under the dark clouds which lower above the horizon. In this country, we don't speak about these horrific acts that have happened. And this speech and reading it on this day gives us the ability to say, let's dig into some of those ugly feelings and it's okay to talk about it. The in which you this day rejoice are not enjoyed in common. This 4th of July is yours, not mine are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice extended to us? Reading the speech gives one an appreciation of um, how far we've come and how far we have to go. Now is the time, the important time. Your fathers have lived, died, and have done their work and have done much of it well. You live and must die, and you must do your work. One of the things that we need to do is to heal and to build unity. And that can only come when people see the dignity and value of the human being. Notwithstanding the dark picture I have to this day presented to the state of the nation, I do not despair of this country. Reading the speech brings not just people together, but the ability to be human together. I therefore leave off where I began, with hope, while drawing encouragement from the Declaration of Independence. Frederick Douglass sees an America where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. He has that hope. Where in 2019, it still has an arc. But the country still has that potential of being the America that's described in the Constitution. Of, in the fervent aspirations of William Lloyd Garrison, I say. And let every heart join in you sing it. Let us be the day when human blood shall cease to flow, and every clime be understood the claims of human brotherhood, and each return for evil good. Reading the speech has allowed us as a community to grow, heal, and bond. It's that beginning step of accepting part of our past. That gives me hope. Change into a faithful friend, each foe.